is a name that's synonymous with breakfast. So when Debbie, Regina, and Wendy all told us we had to try the Huevos Rancheros version at Katie's Kitchen and Displays, we thought it was a perfect fit for this episode. And I'm hoping since we're playing the name game, Katie will let me call it Marley's Mexican Benedict. Katie, you guys have been here more than a decade. I was 22 when I opened. We needed a place in the area, and so after college, I opened up Katie's Kitchen. Most kids after college are just trying to get a job. How on earth did you do that? Part family help. Mom is here I'm on a daily basis helping. My dad is kind of sitting and uh, watching over the place. Brothers just coming for the free food. As brothers do. Yeah. There is something on the menu for everybody. They treat you like family. Everything that happens in here is personal. They're really concerned about the customers. I literally passed by two breakfast places to get here. That's how much I love it. I was really struggling with finding a place that I liked that held up to city standards. And this here, I feel like there's so much to choose from, and everyone's so welcoming, and the food's delicious. And what are we making today? Huevos Rancheros Benedict. You have married two of my favorite things. Mexican food, breakfast. <laughs> it is a English muffin topped with a skirt steak, a poached egg, our homemade ranchero sauce, avocado, baked with cheddar cheese. We do everything homemade. Now I'm starving. Am I cooking with your chef? You're cooking with me, actually. Yes! <laughs> oh, I love it when yeah. the owner gets in the kitchen. Yeah, I can cook. We're kicking off our breakfast this morning with marinade. This is our homemade barbecue sauce. Okay. House-made barbecue spice, honey, red pepper flakes for a little Yum. heat. Love heat. Apple cider vinegar. Shot a day keeps the doctor away. And water. Pour that on over. We let this sit overnight. But I imagine you already let one sit for I us. I did. All right, marinate it overnight. Overnight. Marinade. In our special house made marinade. Exactly. And then we go on to the grill? We do. Okay, right. I'm a two handed cracker, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still working on that one handed thing. Is our steak almost ready to flip? It is. So this is cooking, these are poaching. What's next? We're gonna toast the English muffin in the toaster. This is the tricky part, right? A little bit. <laughs> A little runny. Oh no! You broke it. We'll have to make another one. And take two. Beautiful poached egg. You want me to do it for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is here. All right. Our homemade ranchero sauce. I love cheese. Three pieces of avocado. All right, and now I'm gonna throw that in the oven and bake it. Good thing I put all that cheese on there. So you're Katie's dad. Yes, ma'am. You must be very proud. I'm very proud of how things are going, how the place looks. Business has been good. But I'm looking to get Katie married. We're looking for a husband today. I, I thought that's what you came here for. We came to feature the food, but we do have a lot of male viewers. Oh, we need somebody with a lot of money. Somebody that doesn't mind having his wife work so much. She's the boss. We'd have to be very... Uh, Accommodating to That's her. good, accommodating. Yes, that's right. Think of it as a lot of independence. And he must like hockey and sports. So you're out of your kitchen clothes. Yep, I'm done working for the day. And did you change because you found out your dad is also using this as an advertisement for a husband? I did not know that. Can this go out to all the Chicago and area? Katie's your type. You let Chicago's best know, okay? Great, thanks, like, Marley. You're so <laughs> welcome. Okay, let's get back to the food, because it's as pretty as hopefully your future husband. That is truly delicious. First off, let's just talk about the steak, which is perfect. The marinade is delicious. It has that barbecue-y flavor, but you've got just enough heat. But there's something in that salsa. Oh, you've got to tell me. I can't tell you. We don't let anybody know. Everyone asks us all the time. If you find a husband from this segment, can you tell me what's in it? All right, it's a deal. What inspired you to make a huevos rancheros benedict? We wanted to do something a little bit different than most huevos rancheros, so we took the tortillas out and put it on an English muffin, and voila. The balance of all the flavors and all the cheese just like brings it all together and I'm sold for anything that has fresh avocado with it. Me too. Why is Katie's Kitchen Chicago's best? We are a unique local breakfast spot. 
friendly. Our slogan is enter a stranger and leave his friends. Here's to friendship. Because I'm definitely coming back for this. <laughs> Thank you.